What's going on guys, Billy Davison here with the All Pro Parking Lot Striping course with another Parking Lot Striping video. Before we get started in this video, I want to give a shout out to two of the newest members of the All Pro Parking Lot Striping course. We have Kevin out in Atlanta, Georgia, and also Terry out in Oklahoma City, Oklahoma. We had to repaint these directional arrows because they were fading, chipping, and peeling up because someone in the previous years painted it with the wrong type of paint. We're going to go over some of that in this video. And if you have ever thought about starting a parking lot striping business and don't know where to get started, I have online classes that contain over 14 hours of exclusive video training to help you get started ASAP. You can find a link to my website under the first pinned comment of this video and the description. Directional arrows are placed inside of a parking lot to let drivers know which way they need to go or if they're going the wrong way. This is a safety hazard if they cannot be seen, definitely during inclement weather. These directional arrows were peeling, fading, and the paint just was not sticking to the concrete. We discovered that someone years ago painted these directional arrows with a household yellow paint. And then years later, they painted over it with the correct paint. Now, that being said, the improper paint that was painted under all of these other layers of paint was not adhering to the concrete properly, causing all of the layers to peel up and look really bad. So we have elected to grind these down with a side grinder to remove those multiple layers of paint so we can get down to some good concrete where our proper paint can actually adhere to the concrete and be able to stay there longer and look really good for a longer period of time. We did this with a side grinder with a four inch wire wheel. Each directional arrow took approximately 10 minutes to grind it down. And then we had to blow away the dust and the dirt from all the grinding. And then we painted this with the proper paint. As you see here, we taped these arrows because some of these arrows were odd and our stencil did not fit directly over the existing arrow. So this is definitely a good way to outline the arrow with tape that gives you a border. And then you can take a four inch roller with the using the proper paint to apply the paint. This also takes about five to 10 minutes to dry if you're using the correct materials and the techniques. So you don't necessarily have to wait all day for these directional arrows to dry. Now, if you're using the wrong paint, this could take days to dry, which would not be a good thing because cars would run over it and track yellow paint all through the parking lot. So let's talk a little bit more how you could get these type of jobs, uh, why are we doing it? And then a little bit later, I'm going to tell you how much we charge for these particular items. Now, some of this information is just like the information that you will find in the All Pro Parking Lot Striping course, but much more in depth with sample contracts, with sample email templates, with a knowledge test, a certificate of completion, and over 14 hours of exclusive video training. In addition, on the back end, we offer some one-on-one -on -one mentorship to help you through your first few jobs to make sure you're charging enough money to your customer to make your business profitable. So in this situation, we have to think about why would a business want to invest this type of money into getting their directional arrows put down in place and in good shape. For one, usually the business's general liability insurance, that's basically the insurance that businesses carry if someone slips and falls, if there's an accident, if there's a window get broken out, or if there's a fire hazard, their general liability insurance covers all types of incidents that happen on their premises, whether it's in the store or even in the parking lot. So in this situation, the insurance companies of these businesses require the parking lots to be maintained free from potholes, make sure their parking lines are painted and visible, and also make sure the directional arrows are in place. This is a safety hazard. If two cars are not really directed into the proper places and do collide, oftentimes the business will be held liable at a certain percentage. It may be 50% liable, it may be only 30% liable, but any rate, 
is a problem for the business if there's an incident in the parking lot due to improper lane markings. That being said, also there's federal codes and regulations that mandate fire lane markings and handicap markings, or what we call our ADA markings. So businesses are forced to have these services done on a regular basis, usually about once a year. This could be a repeat customer for many years to come. And as you see later on the video, when we tell you exactly how much we charge for these directional arrows, you can see where you can make a lot of money doing this, but you definitely need the proper training to know exactly the codes and regulations, how much to charge the customer, how to complete the jobs perfectly, and even what materials to use. So let's do a quick breakdown of how much we charged and how much we made in profit and how long it took us. We had seven directional arrows that we had to grind down and then repaint. They were $150 each, which brought my total to $1,050. My labor on this job was $300. I usually pay Apex a little bit too much, but he's a great worker. Also, we had $50 in paint and $50 more in other materials such as tape and a wire brush wheels. So this small project gave me a $650 profit, which took us two hours to complete, which basically equates to $325 an hour. And we didn't really have to bring out any big equipment to get the job done. Anyway, guys, I'm Billy Davison here with the All Pro Parking Lot Striping Course. Make sure you check out the first pinned comment below to our website and also the description if you want to take our online classes. Anyway, I hope this video has helped you and we hope to see you in the next video.